I do this every time. So first of all, I, I'm pretty sure uh, most of you have your equipment, right? And if you don't, it's on its way. If you don't have it already, that's fine. You can start on Monday, next Monday, if you want to start doing the workouts, like the control track is a very big piece of it. Um, maybe you have like a door attachment and a resistance band at home already from other workouts you might do. You could use that, uh, but don't freak out. If you're not starting tomorrow, it's fine. You can start Monday and I promise the same enthusiasm and excitement will still be there. Actually, probably more because you'd be like, oh my God, they did that. Um, so it's five days a week, right? And I want to tell you those rest days that are in there are imperative for your results. I know it's really hard. I was a chronic overtraining person. I taught in the, in group fitness for 12, 13 years. Then I was doing my own workouts. I was in pain constantly because I was never resting and recovering. So you will find a rest day in the middle of the week. I think phase one is on a Wednesday. And then on a Sunday, here's what I'm going to tell you. If you're like me, and I'm just being honest, I need to move my body in some way every day. So on Wednesdays, I'm going to do range and repair. And I'll, I'll put these out. There's recovery workouts within different programs. Um, I'm going to do a range and repair, which is 20 minutes. It's mobility and functional strength and kind of things. There's a three week yoga retreat that we have. We have an entire yoga studio. Autumn has a uh, foam rolling session from 80 day obsession. So you can drill down and I'll, I'll title them all out for you or just straight up take the rest day or go for a walk or whatever it is. Like mine's mental. Like I just got to get up. I got to move my body a little bit. And then I'm set the tone for the day, but I will not be doing extra cardio. I will not be doing extra strength training. I'm following the program. Um, and then at the end of the night, I know some of you asked the control, the controlled stretches, try to do them before you go to bed. Guys, I, I don't know if you know, but when we're sleep deprived, it affects our immunity. It affects how we function. We have to sleep better. And I know for me, when I don't sleep, I eat like crap the next day, right? Because I'm tired. My body's craving sugar and I just don't feel good. And weight loss will stop if you don't sleep. It is imperative that you sleep. So what these stretches do, you can do them like in your sweats or your pajamas. They're literally like 10 minutes just to slow your body down, to get you away from your devices. Well, I mean, you'll be watching something, but you know what I mean? Instead of like scrolling Instagram or something, you're stepping away, you're breathing, you're refocusing, you can go to bed and then you get up and you do it the next day. So do those. If there's a day you miss, cause you know, kids are crazy and life is crazy. Okay. But try to make it a part of your habit. Um, nutrition. And I will open it up for questions at the end. The nutrition plans are in um, Beachbody on demand has it just, you cannot, have you been able to find if those of you bought a package or you had it before ultimate portion fix and to be mindset, have you had a chance to drill into those? If you got a new package, they're in the nutrition center of beach body on demand. You can drill down. There's videos. Autumn takes you grocery shopping. She teaches you how to read labels, what meal plans to pick. Like Shannon posted the, um, the calculator. And then that's like the foundation fix. Foundational fix is just, you take all those containers if you're doing portion fix. And how I tell my clients to figure out what meal plan, if you need straight structure, like I need to eat, how many vegetables and proteins and fats do I need to eat in a day? And how much of them? Portion fix. If you're really comfortable and confident in your nutrition and Katie does to be mindset, so I may ask you in a little bit to talk about that. That's more intuitive where you're focusing on vegetables first and then you're getting water and it's just more of a flexible and, and sometimes you need that, right? Sometimes structure is too bad for like a compulsive mindset or, right? or an OCD mindset and you need a little bit more flexibility. That's fine. Katie's had great success with that and I will ask you in a minute, Katie, to talk about it, but you have choices and you can start with one and be like, not working and go to the other one. But I do want you what the calculator tells you, trust it. It may have you in like a really high calorie plan. We still have to eat to lose weight. We've been, been programmed that you eat less. You do eat less, but you eat like hardly anything and you lose weight. 
you actually have to eat good amounts of food, exercise to burn, and then you lose weight. It's, it's, a, it's a mind F, I'm just gonna say, it truly is. But I promise you, if you watch those videos in Ultimate Portion Fix or TV Mindset, they're talking to you about changing your mindset around food. And I'm uh, reading the book called Eat Smarter by Sean Stevenson. It just came out. It's out on Audible now too. And I'll be sharing that as it goes. It's talking about the each food group does different things for your body, right? Sugar just tears you apart. It screws up your mental. It screws up your taste buds. So we're not saying sugar is bad, but you got to control it, right? It takes time. This is a process. It is a full process. And I trust that you follow the containers and you eat however many she tells you, it will work. Um, and if you're ever hungry, right? If you stay, if you're starting on meal plan B and you're like, God, I am starving. Okay, we're gonna reevaluate. We might bump you up a category or we might just add extra proteins and vegetables to you each day to kind of get you through it. The first week, if you guys have not if you've been binging like I have been and eating like a great, I, I, my tagline is like, I eat like an asshole. Like <laughs> you've been eating like that. Like the first week you're going to be really hungry <laughs> and you're going to be grouchy and you're probably going to be foggy in your mind because you're detoxing from the chips, the, the breads, like I, the desserts, like all of it, it's going to take some time. So give yourself time. And, and when you're having those moments, post in the group and say, I am struggling today and let us help you with kind of like Shannon said, like tricks and tips that we've learned through our own journeys of how we can like satisfy that craving or what we want you to do. And I don't want you to deprive yourself. Like if you want a piece of chocolate, have a piece of chocolate, just one. If that makes that craving go away and you go to bed and you're like, ah, I feel good then it's fine, right? This isn't about eating straight 1200 calories for the rest of your life. This is figuring out like, how do I lose weight or muscle tone? Or I, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to lose fat. That's my goal is losing my fat and sustaining it forever. I wanted to, I could put you on the strictest 1200 calorie plan and you'd be miserable. And you would, as soon as you stop this program, you would gain all the weight back. That's not the goal, right? We want sustained fat loss, weight loss continually. And then we learn how to maintain it. And that's, that's the joy of, and beauty of it all. Uh, so we'll get into nutrition. What questions you guys have? Um, what else am I thinking? Mornings. So I work out that everybody is welcome and I'll post in the group. I work out at 6am Monday through Friday, unless I oversleep. Uh, but there's a group of us, Kim, is one of them. We get on a Zoom call just like this. We chat for a few minutes, finish drinking your Energize. Then we press play, we mute our lines and have our workout on our whatever device we're using. We work out so we can see each other for extra accountability. Michelle gets on there every now and then too. And then we chat a few minutes and we hop off. So if you are trying to become a morning workout person and 6 a.m. works for you, hop on. If you start your workout at 6.30, you want to just hop on and wave to be like, I'm here and do your thing. That's fine too. Like, you know, we can just wave and say hi and then let you go on your way. But it's just an extra level of accountability. It helps me not want to oversleep. And I know Kim's the same way. Like I would easily just push it off, but I'm like, God, I'm there. I got to go get online. I have to start the call. So you're always more than welcome. Anytime you want on the weekends, we just kind of do our own thing because sleep. Um, but I adjust my sleep schedule for it to, to work too. Uh, speaking of streaming your devices, you can, or the workouts, you can do them on your phone. If you have a fire stick, a Chromecast, smart TV, put them on your TV, um, your computer, wherever you have access, stream them. I, I put mine on my TV so it's loud and I can see it, especially with this new equipment. Uh, that's gonna be key to have that vis visible. Um, there is no music in the workout. But you, she has a Spotify playlist. You can put on your own playlist. I actually prefer working out with no, with without music sometimes. Especially in week one, I would just kind of like keep it quiet because there's gonna be a lot of things that she's gonna be explaining. And the first workout's gonna make you really frustrated. I'm just gonna tell you, I did it. It moves like this. 
And you're going to have to figure out like, oh crap, I need to have my weights about this close to my control track and then my ball. Like, and she says that like, it's going to take you probably a week of kind of playing with these things and figuring out how the, the program is put together to kind of get your setup. So don't get mad. If you got to press pause, press pause. And she says that she's like, if I could press pause, I would, but I got to get this workout done. So just press pause, get yourself set up and go again. And the beauty is, is that each week we progress, right? It's going to be different, but you're progressing on moves that you already know. So that way you can get better and stronger and faster in the transitions. The transitions are what keep your heart rate up. So just keep that in mind. Um, there are 10 minute add-ons. If you ever feel like, man, I want to do something extra. There's 10 minute add-ons you can do. You can see them in the bonus section. And um, Michelle, I think said she was going to be traveling. There are remote control workouts where you just take your control track. I know Michelle, you won't have that opportunity and the ball, the ball just deflates right down. And that way, if you're traveling or, you know, not that we can really go anywhere fun, but if you do travel, then you can take those with you and not have to worry about missing workouts or anything like that. Uh, Shannon, anything program related that I'm missing that you can think of and then we'll open it for questions. Are you muted? Now that I can really think of off the top of my head, I think you got everything, yeah. Before I open up for questions, Katie, can you just give us a brief overview of 2B Mindset, how you use it and what it's done for you? Um, yeah, so I actually started doing Ultimate Portion Fix and I will, I was an idiot. Like I figured out how many, um, containers I needed, but I did not ask questions and did not really look through anything, didn't watch the videos. So it was like, I would eat like one container of this instead of like making a meal, I would eat like separate containers and I could not eat that much in a day. Like I was so full and like, I just didn't do it well. Um, so I looked at to be mindset and it just fits my lifestyle so much better. Um, it's really just like, it seems like a lot to do at one time, but it's really not. It's, I focused more on like the water and veggies the most, and then kind of added in like plate it. And even now I'm, I'm, not a hundred percent at like the full, like plate it method. I kind of mm -hmm. eyeball some things and just know that like, I try to add veggies in wherever I can. Um, but for me, it's, it's easier to like go out to dinner and fit that into my lifestyle than like the containers and trying to, you know, pre-plan. I'm not great at, um, like meal planning and prepping. So I know that I can have like chicken, like all these different things in the house. And it's so like, there's such a great like community of like people, the mindset community, um, people post questions on there all the time. It's been great. Um, I've been doing Beachbody since May and like to be probably since like July and a total, I've lost like 50 pounds, but mostly that was like, after I started really looking at the nutrition and truly like figuring that out and trying to get that down. Yeah. And you'll hear Autumn say nutrition, like working out guys is the easy part. It, it really is. And I want to say this, if you're coming into this brand new, you haven't done any of our programs or <clears throat> or um, you're concerned about being overwhelmed in week one, focus on the workouts, right? Just try to clean up your eating a little bit. And then in week two, you know what the workouts are. Okay, now let's really add in the nutrition because trying to do both of them at the same time for some of us can like freak us out. And then we'll just be like, well, this doesn't work and I'm out. I promise the nutrition is the hardest part and will continually be the hard part forever but it makes a difference. It really does. And just taking small things, like, like Katie said, she started with one part of it and then just adds on as she goes, as she gets comfortable and you're going to get such a, such a, see such a difference. You're going to feel better. Like 
I just completed, well, I'm kind of finished our three day refresh that we have. I've been sleeping like crap because I've been eating like crap. I slept like a baby the past two nights because I haven't had the cookies and the starches and the co- and like all that stuff. And my body was like, oh, you can sleep. So you'll start noticing these patterns as we go. Um, yeah. Lou has questions. Like uh, this is your perfect opportunity. You can always ask questions, but who has a specific question they want to ask now? And then we can, we can get those answered. And don't be shy. This is your family for the next time. <clears throat> Guys, post in the group. Post in the group. Like every day, your sweaty selfie. I don't care how terrible you look. Like, look at me now. Like, this is life right now because it makes you accountable. And you're going to be like, oh, if I don't post, they're going to know I didn't show up. That's the point. <laughs> right? Like, you joined one of us coaches for a reason for the accountability and this is it and we are the difference in helping you achieve your goal so if you go ghosting us we're gonna be like hey where you at where you at ask sarah where you at where you at what have you been doing <laughs> like it's good it's meant to be nice so so post and no question is dumb no the question is dumb sorry i thought this Lindsay was texting me it was a different Lindsay. <laughs> sorry but what questions do you have yeah. Okay. What are you most excited for? Let's start there. Anyone? Actually, do you have a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Um. So I get up around four thirty and work out. Have to be at work at six forty-five. Could I hop onto your your Zoom meeting after I work out? Like, would that be oh, absolutely? Okay? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, we'd love to see you. It's typically Kim, Lindsay, Michelle hops on sometimes. Uh, Sarah might hop on sometimes. So yeah, just pop in and say hi. We look, okay. <laughs> we would rather chat than get moving. So yeah. <laughs> and then maybe that. on Saturdays, if like, sometimes if I wake up later, I'll be like, hey, I'm going to work out at like 830 or whatever. I, I'll post it. And if you guys want to hop on, we can do it then too. Okay. Anything else? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's try this. Raise your hand if weight loss is your goal. Okay. I have a question. I love it. Yes. Um, so it, should I wait till Monday to start when my after my package arrives, or should I, you know, start, you know, as soon as I can get everything set up and start? You could do either way. So you could your calendar would just be a little off if you want to start it right, right away. What you could focus on this week, Helen, is nutrition. Right, because I'm thinking, because then I'd have like Saturday and Sunday would be my rest days instead of a Thursday, Friday. So then, yeah, you can rather... you can move those. That's a good question. You can move your rest days around if you get in a bind, guys. Okay. Just make I sure... might, yeah, I have to wait and see what day they. I got to notice it was shipped this morning, so it might take till Friday to get here. I don't know, you know. Oh. <laughs> the way U.S. mail is. I know. That's part of the problem, too, when we really- I have Christmas it. present that received. I got it Saturday. I was just like- <laughs> Perfect. So can I do my- Can I do the rest day Saturday and Sunday? Or do am I- Should I do the Wednesday? Like, how she's got it broke up. My only thing is, like, Saturdays, especially when I work on Saturday mornings- like Thursday mornings. I don't know. It just seems like weekends are easier for me to do my rest days. I don't know. You could try it, Kim, and see if you're really sore, like in the middle of that week and you need that rest. And you know, you've been doing enough. And I'm going to say this because Kim's been doing programs with me for years now. And you do start to understand your body. And when it's like, whoa, girl, you need to take a break and step back. <laughs> So Kim, if you find that you're really sore and tired, you know when to take that break. Yeah. So you need to move yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Because I, I don't know. I just, I like Wednesdays, especially Wednesdays, because Wednesdays I go to work later. So it's so much easier for me to get my workout in. So yeah, let's try it. See how you feel. Okay. And I know a few of you have bikes uh, and you ride. That's, that's fine. Just make sure you feel good. Uh, you know, don't ever do it. Just don't ever do it. And sometimes it's more of a stress reliever bike rides too, because uh, you're sitting and then you want to get on. So that's fine. Just know what your limits are. I have a couple of questions. Yes, ma'am. Um, 
Sorry, I'm Holly Brown, by the way, and I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. Ooh. So I probably will never be joining you at 6 a.m. <laughs> because that'll be four o'clock in the morning here. So, um, but if I'm ever up that early, you know, I'll log on. Um, so my questions, I haven't, I wasn't planning to do like ultimate portion fix or the 2B mindset, um, mainly just because in the past, I found that just like counting calories works best for me. Am I mistaken to think that I can do that? Or is it better to do one of I'll these go, other? I'll go first. And then who's your coach? Um, Michelle. Okay. And I know she's not on because it's her birthday today. Um, yes. I'm her sister-in-law, by the way. Um, awesome. I say, I from a personal training background and this, for me, calories you can count calories, right? I just, we just got to make sure you're getting all the right food groups in mm -hmm. for those calories. Cause it's really easy to say, all right, I'm going to eat 1500 calories and eat shit foods. Um, and right. I'm like, oh, guys, I apologize. And <laughs> you're getting around. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so just be very mindful of what you're eating because the container system is a calorie bracket, right? Like the, the A is like 1200 to 1499. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah, just that's spot on. getting four veggies, four proteins, three fruits, like two carbs. So it's just giving you a breakdown to make sure you're hitting those macronutrients too. Um, mm -hmm. And the same goes, like I say this all the time, like with the Weight Watchers program, where there's points, if you're not disciplined enough, you could have the ice cream you know what I mean? Like, so just know, and you know, your body, maybe hey, say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to try it for a couple of weeks. And maybe you see some different results because your body's like, Oh, this is a little different. I'm going to try this. So try it. See how you feel. If you're not comfortable, go to what, you know, if it works for you. Okay. Is any Perfect. other coaches, do you feel the same? Are you good? Yeah. I think it's the, it's the quality of calories. Because yeah. that's what the container system is. They actually tell you, I have it. I just happen to have it right here, but I don't know if you guys can see, but it does say 1200 to 1499 for A and then B is 1500, 1799. It just keeps going up from there. So it is counting your calories. It's just telling you more importantly, how the greens, you're, like if you're on A, you're doing four vegetables and then two purples and then four reds is uh, proteins. So you wanna make sure you're getting enough protein. You wanna make sure you're getting enough vegetables, enough fruits. And then they also have the food lists with the containers that these are the, the better choices because they're doing something for your body. They're you know, providing nutrients or fuel and they're doing something for your body. They're not empty calories. And that's why they have those food lists. So yeah, I, I agree, give it a try. and see how it goes and um, go from there. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. I just had one other quick question. Yeah. So I was just looking at the brag board and at least for the first, well, phase one, and it has like the three different things. I'm assuming that April will explain in the video, like what, what am I recording there? Yeah, 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 she'll go through. I think it's okay. um, rep counts, uh, round counts, weight, and there's also trackers that you can print out for your weight. And um, Sarah asked this question earlier and Tim did a really great job of answering it. Okay. it. It's really easy to forget what weight you use the previous week. Oh yeah. So um, we all print out those trackers and we just have them or even I, for like MBF when I did, I just had like a notebook laying around and I would just mark them down. So then you'd be like, oh, wow, I started this program using fives and look on DCT. Now I can use 15s. Um, but yeah, the brag board, I honestly haven't looked into it a lot. I know Shannon and Tim probably have, um, but it's tracking, I think, rounds and just weights and times yeah. and stuff. Yep, exactly. So there's a tracker. I know it's hard. Like, I don't expect you guys to see it, but um, they actually have four per week that you're going to be recording on a tracker and that's with the weights. So um, it's if you, if you print it out and put the options to print on four sheets per one page, you'll get four. Oh, okay. Good to know. You'll get four on one sheet. So that way you don't have like a million sheets and it's kind of nice because it's one week is on a sheet, you know? So it doesn't seem like as many papers and stuff to deal with, but 
Yeah, I I can tell you, like tracking, definitely you you don't realize how much you even if you just changed a set, you know, the next set you increase the weights. It's it's nice to see the improvements. Um, but I lost my train of thought on the second half of that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think trackers are nice too though because if anybody's like me I have a terrible memory like so bad like I don't remember what I did yesterday it's it's really bad so for me when I'm going into a, a workout and I'm like what weights did I use like last time and it's an, it's a simple quick like find that you can figure out like oh, okay well I used five pounds this week I think I might be able to bump it up to like 10 or something along that line too so it's a good way for you to gauge like I know a lot of times like I'll write um, you know, use five pounds, but could definitely go up. And like, yeah, I, I write an arrow up arrow. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Or if like, I find like, it's a real good weight, I circle it and like stuff like that. So it's just a really good way for you to kind of make notes to yourself mm -hmm. that you can go back and look at. And then if you do the program again, you can go back to your trackers and see, you know, what you use, what was good, what wasn't good. And then I know the brag board also has you track which resistance band mm -hmm. you use oh. different colors as well. And there are, I, I believe I have, I've personally tested, I think the darker one's a little lighter resistance, right? It looks thinner. No, I think, the oh. red is a light, the maroon oh, is the it. Yeah, I think so. You almost had it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was about to do something really hard that I did not need to do. <laughs> you can go out the maroons. I'm going to start with red. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting with red, people. <laughs> go light to start with. <laughs> Holly, did that answer? Does that give you an idea? Okay. Um, do you guys know where to find all these materials we're talking about? Do you want me to show you? Show you? Okay, let me share my screen. I did post a video on that too. Oh, okay. It's it's off my phone. I'm like videoing an iPad, but you can still see where the materials are. But yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh, geez. Hold on. I have a brand new computer. Hold on. I got a damn Mac. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So here, let me tell you, because I did not set up my preferences to allow it. Go on your desktop or, you know, whatever your laptop is. You go to beachbodyondemand.com and log in, right? You go to Nine Week Control Freak, and then you will see, I'm so mad. You will see the tabs at the top. Do you want yeah, to my screen? Yeah, if you can, I can give you access, I think. Hold on. Where is yeah, I don't see any options to share a screen right now. Can yeah. you do it, Jeanette? Do you see it? Okay, one. Oh, hold on, Haas. Host disabled attendee screen sharing. Oh, I've got a button here. Can you tell we're all technically inclined? <laughs> Did you send me a request? Yeah, well, it just says when I'm sharing screen, then it just says host disabled attendee screen sharing. Oh, Tim, I didn't. Tim, <laughs> says, Tim says he could always just pull it up on his book and we can just like. That's all right. I think I can, ex I think I can explain it. <laughs> when you go in, so go in through your desktop, right? I'll have that fixed for next week. And then you click on nine week <laughs> control freak. You're going to see a bunch of tabs across the top. It'll say workouts, um, nutrition, maybe program materials click program materials. It's a whole drop down, and everything lives in there. Um, that's where you can print it out. I'm glad you said that little tip about printing four to a sheet because that is very helpful. Um, and that's where you can find the bonus workouts and everything. So program materials, everything's there for you, all the trackers. If you still struggle, I'll take a screen share, a grab yeah. and put it in there too. And, and um, Shannon posted one as well. Yeah, it does say you've disabled the screen sharing because I, I just clicked the button. <clears throat> but it's okay. I mean, it's it's just the program materials button, but there is a video. Um, there is a video. I can tag anybody in it if they want to. There's a video in the group that shows you how to get to it, too. Tag Holly in there. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. I have what? a question. I have a question. So um, I understand the importance of rest. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> that, that being said, um, I live in Atlanta, which never really closed. So I still teach. I just started, I pick up a new class that I teach. I'm a group fitness instructor. So I'll be teaching uh, two classes now. And 
I already do <laughs> workouts in the morning at seven with some other people, which, so technically I'm doing this and MBF all over again, but I feel like it'll be okay because my body, I'm literally staying at home and I'm not doing anything. And I think this is part of the reason why I'm like halfway fat again. So the question is, <laughs> if people are doing extra workouts, do you only recommend that I'm adding in fruits and, ve and veg I mean, vegetables and, and, and uh, a protein or am I, because I think the last time I did it, I think I maybe added like one extra um, carb too. Yeah, you know what I would, um, yeah, definitely for you if since and you're teaching too, and that's a whole nother level of intensity on teaching days, I would add in another carb, um, clean it, clean carb. Yeah. Try with a veggie and protein. And you know what? You could even go into the calculator um, and do the, what was it? And this one comes in at moderate, right? Because they're short, they're 30 yeah. minutes. Oh. The next one up, what is that? Intense is how it's vigorous, like. maybe. I'll tell Intense you. Or vigorous. I think it's yeah, I'll, I'll tag you in the calculator, Shannon, so oh. you know. And when, why don't we? <laughs> yeah, I'll tag her. Okay. Um, but Ebony, I need you to stretch. You know, you got you got to take care of those knees, girl. <laughs> I know, I know. And I think recover would be a good thing for you. I don't all. think what is in recover because I can't have dairy or gluten, and I think does it have? They have a vegan one. We oh, now have a vegan one. Oh, okay. Not gonna lie, it kind of tastes like a leaf of spinach. I can't take. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, I can. I can't tell um, the difference. I yeah. I've had both of them, and I just shake it with my. Yeah, I went back to. I, I tried the vegan. I went back to oh, the normal, the way. And then yeah. do you have? Any you can definitely tell. Samples? What's that? Do you have a vegan sample of recover? I can check. If she do, I'll, Ebony, I'll have Shannon send you one if we do. See if okay. your stomach can handle it. I will check, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, take care. And speaking of really quick for next question, the supplements, Shakeology, perfect, guys. Perfect way to supplement nutrition. This is not in place of food. L let me say it again, because there's so many shakes on the market that are saying just drink shakes. It's not in place of food. It's a supplement to your food, right? Our our fruits, our vegetables are even leached of nutri nutrients by sitting, right? It's picked, then it gets chipped, then it sits in a dark place, then it gets exposed. So nutrients are leached from, from healthy food. And what Shakeology does is it has 70 enriched superfoods that we can't get access to normally. And it comes in and it backs up that good nutrition we're giving our body. Um, I've been drinking it every day for five years. It helps me curb my cravings for junk because my, my nutrition yeah, lack time. Right, is filled. It's filled and I'm not looking for the sugars and stuff. It helps with weight loss, digestive issues. Uh, it will get you regular. And I found that my hair grows faster. My nails grow faster. Um, it's a great supplement. We have regular and vegan there. So if you ordered it, drink it and blend it, your first shake is going to taste like crap. They all do. <laughs> <laughs> don't shake it with water like yeah, just, recover and, yeah but not shakeology blend it like blend put some ice in it but i do unsweet almond milk i yeah. even do in chocolate with pb2 you know it's really good i drink my chocolate's my go-to so so just some new it. give yourself a week of messing with those things and you can mm -hmm. always return it for a money back guarantee just saying that counts, just so you know, if you're drinking Shakeology and you're like, well, what does this count for? The scoop of powder is one red. So that takes care of a protein. And then what you add to it. So I add um, spinach because I hate vegetables. I hate eating them. So I put a cup of spinach in there. I can't taste it. I add a half a banana to help smooth it out. So there's a purple. And then I use unsweetened almond milk like Shannon does. And there's some mixed information out there. If you're using almond milk for your shake, you can count it as a teaspoon. Uh, if you just drink a glass of almond milk, then that counts as an orange container, or I'm sorry, a yellow carb container. But if you're using it in a shake, it does not, it's a teaspoon. Um, Energize is our pre-workout and the stuff is gold. Uh, it is plant-based. It is, it does not make you like this. Like, mm -hmm. 
the first time you drink it, you may feel like your skin's tingling a little bit and that's normal. That's beta alanine, an all natural ingredient that just is getting things going. At, when I first started drinking it, my top lip itched for like five minutes and then I'd be fine. It was weird, but now I'm used to it. I drink it on off days to clean my house. I so drink it. <laughs> um, and a really cool thing, like if you follow all the virus information that's going out there, how they're helping treat patients and is quercetin and it's an immunity booster and it is in Energize. So you're getting a dose of that in your Energize every day as well. Can a cure disease? No, FDA, you know, all those disclaimers, but it does help boost immunity. Um, and for me, it pushes off lactic acid buildup. So if you ever been working out and your legs get really tired and you're like, I can't do one more rep, that's lactic acid. And it's coming in and it's building up in that muscle. And it's like, oh, I can't do it. This has been tested. Ironman athletes use it. It pushes off the buildup of lactic acid so you can go harder for longer. So double win there. Um, and you come down really easy. You don't crash and have to sleep or you're not up for 10 hours. I taught classes at 6.30 at night. I would take it at six and I could go to bed at my normal time. Um, Recover, what I was talking to Emmy about is our post-workout supplement. That is what comes in 30 minutes after a workout and gives you the protein and the BCAAs. Those are branch chain amino acids and they help muscle repair. Have you ever been so sore you couldn't work out the next day or you couldn't sit like these come in and they help ease the soreness. They don't take it away, but they ease it. And they give, those are the building blocks for your muscles to repair, right? When you lift weights, you tear the muscle fiber. This comes in and it builds those fibers back up stronger and thicker and, and, you know, leaner in a way. Um, so that's what those supplements are. Get this energize and recover. Do not count as a container at all. And when really you good. Hmm. like energize gets me out of bed in the morning. I was working out at 4.30 when I was going into work and now I can work out at like six. So that's nice. But it, I think about drinking it when I do it because I love it. And I notice a huge difference for sure. Recover, I, it tastes like chocolate milk and you just shake it with water real quick. I put a little ice in it. I don't even blend it, just shake it. And then my shakes, Marcy was saying she had spinach. I used to do that, but now I add rice cauliflower. I'm going to try that. Yeah. I hate rice cauliflower, but I'm going to And try. I'm, I could, I could, I can't taste it at all. I can't taste it at all. And it just tastes creamier. Like the whole shake tastes creamier. How Actually, much do you, I made how a much, reel about it. <laughs> Shannon, how much do you, how much cauliflower do you put in there? Because I just if I dump did it. that. It's probably between a half cup and a cup. Because I just, I, I just that. dump it and I'm like, that looks like enough. So, yeah. Yeah, I and I, I don't put it's ice it. in though anymore. Oh, okay. so I, I, what I do is I put in eight ounces of unsweet almond milk, <laughs> scoop of chocolate, uh, scoop of PB2, power greens. I'm getting a lot of greens. <laughs> um, and then I do collagen and then I put in, um, the rice cauliflower, just pour it in. And then, um, I put in a splash of water. So it kind of like mixes better and it's good. Yeah. Huh. No complaints does it, here. Does it blend really well or is it? Yeah. Still I didn't have it. It blended smooth. Yeah, the one I made yesterday, the strawberry one in that video, yeah. I drank it. What do you use to blend? Uh, one of those ninja, um, mm -hmm. ninja blenders. It's just like All a cup. All your bullets are good. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when it works. Hello. So I actually, <laughs> I go into the office uh, three days a week. So I have a, a blender at work because taking having my shake at lunch was just easier, less things to pack for me. Um, so I have mine at lunch and I just have a blender. It, it's like that smaller Nutribullet. It's perfect. Yeah. The one thing I started putting a veggie in my shake because I don't like to eat it for breakfast. Yeah. It's not something I, I, I will, if I'm making eggs and putting spinach in it, but I usually have that meal afterwards, after my workout, like the, with the eggs and stuff, I just eat something very simple, like a protein waffle with peanut butter for before I work out. And, um, afterwards I get the veggie. So because I feel like I'm behind on a veggie already, when I, I catch up with the shake and I can't taste it at all. And you know, it works. And Shannon this, brings up oh, a good point. Rob, were you saying something? I was just going to say the spinach, you know, like the big bag or the big container. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not, I just use it, but I put it in the freezer. Yeah. Um, that way it doesn't go bad or get the yeah, you know, lettuce gets bad. And then you can just pull out a handful, put it in the shake. 
Yeah, so that works really well. I do the if same. Yeah, if you use vanilla, then it turns green. So if you have a problem, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you said, with the chocolate, you don't even see it. You don't even taste it. So it's a great way to, I mean, I like spinach, but I get it. It's spinach. So it's fun to sneak in. And I wanted to bring up a point. If you don't eat before you work out, that's okay. You know, like some people can, some people can't. I play with them back and forth. Um, when we did 80 day obsession, we had to work out or we had to eat before we worked out with time nutrition. It's up to you play with it. You know, if you're fine fasted, um, then go for it. I find for 30 minute workouts, I'm okay. Um, and I won't eat, or I'll have like a peanut butter ball or something small. So it's up to you play. And if you're like, Oh God, I'm dying. Then have, like she said, like I used to have uh, Greek yogurt and overnight oats would be my pre-workout meal, um, before. And then I just kind of got away from it. So it's up to you. I, I did the Greek yogurt and stuff too, but the, um, the energize just, it, it didn't, it didn't mix well. So I just don't eat either. Yeah. <clears throat> That's completely up to you. You know, it's yeah. your body. Listen to it. If you're dizzy or lightheaded during workouts, then we probably should get something in your system. And you know, if you're, how many of you are working out after work? Are you guys mostly mornings? Like before you go in some way? Wow. Not a soul raised their hand. <laughs> <laughs> I say it's the best way just because it's done because like it you don't have to like it's not hanging over yeah. your head all day like and you're like oh god i don't want to work out i don't want to work out i don't because then when you go into a mindset like that that workout's gonna be terrible it, it just is going to be terrible so that's awesome and you're tapping in to all that stored glycogen and all that stuff that's been sitting there overnight you can tap into it and get that fat burning and like i said it sets the tone for the day like mm -hmm. you're less likely to eat like crap because you're like, man, I worked out today and I feel great. I'm not going to go eat all that junk now. Um, so it's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Um, one final thing. I know we're throwing a lot at you. There are meditations in Beachbody On Demand. If you need a moment, and I think it's all we all do just to clear our minds, try these meditations. It's the uh, uh, there's two there's one from bar blend and then there's like a 21 day meditation series unstressed that's what it's called try them guys i i do them 10 minutes i started during quarantine and i got away from it and i can tell i do it before my workout just to kind of ease into it and then i go so if you're fine that you're struggling and it's okay to struggle i know we all hear it but it's really okay you can get yourself out of it these workouts are going to help and there's this meditation series like they're 10 minutes. Like that's as long as this brain can like shut down. So I get it, but try them, just try them. See if they make a difference in your mindset. Um, you're going to hear Autumn talking about mindset a lot because this is what we're taking control of. If you take control of your mind and the thoughts it has, the body's just going to follow. The results are going to happen. It's just this thing that we we get in our way, we self-sabotage, we say nasty things to ourselves. Like I know I looked in the mirror the other day and I was not nice and that's what sets us back. So we have to constantly be checking in and saying, nope, I'm going to spin that. And we're going to say, I enjoyed my holiday. I needed the break and now I'm going to reset. So just know that you can always come back and fix your mindset and ask for, ask for help. Guys, literally this group is shame-free it's completely safe. Whatever you're going through, let us help you because we don't have access to everybody anymore. So we can, we are, we will become a family. I, you know, I think you can see from us that have been working out for a while together, we're a family now and it's a fun family and people are going to think you're weird, but you know what? <laughs> they don't so, have a community. It, it's truly Beachbody is a community of people that we all want to change your lives for the better but then you guys enrich our lives and give back to us and it's such an incredible feeling so if there's no more questions we can everyone go to bed you gotta get up early i actually, I actually have i do have a question if we have a second yes ma'am go um so two questions actually number one with shakeology um when is really the best time to have that during the day whatever works i see a lot of people doing it for breakfast 
Um, mm -hmm. And that's usually where I put mine, but I wasn't sure if that's something, you know, like if we should be having it within a certain time frame of having worked out or yeah. that it doesn't matter just wherever. Mm -hmm. If, if you find that breakfast is the best, easiest way for you to get it in and you drink it as you're getting ready or, you know, on, I used to drink mine on the way to work, do it. It doesn't matter. Um, and it, yes, it has a protein in there. It just doesn't have all the protein for muscle recovery, but you're, it's fine. It's helping if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. And then my other question is, um, with setting up the control track, um, in my home, I really don't have space conducive for it. Uh -huh. um, I really don't have a place right now to even mount it to the wall. Okay. My, my house set up, it's very small and congested. Um, and the only doors that I have that close towards me are in my hallway. That's really only about three feet wide. And my front door is, it butts up to a wall as well. So when I'm looking at some of these um, exercises using the control track, I see like, like the jumps like side to side. And I'm just so concerned that I'm not going to have adequate room to do these workouts. I set it up on my um, bedroom door that's at the end of the hallway. Uh -huh. And so I know a lot of the things I don't need that big of a space to do them, but I, but I'm just wondering about the other the other parts of it, or do you, cause I've, I've really only watched the, um, the sample workout. So I wasn't sure if you thought that that's really going to be a hindrance. I don't think so. Cause many of the, um, test group people that like, so before a program comes out, a whole group of coaches do it. And many of them were in small apartments and had that narrow hallway and were just fine, you know, okay. and I'm sure she's going to talk about it too. So maybe you can't go as wide as like in, if we're doing like a skater move or a lateral right. move you can just sit really deep into those legs and step. Um, and I know Kim was saying, like, as we go through these first, first week of workouts and we get an idea, if yeah. she's like, oh, there's a move that we do, I'm just going to move out into my bigger part of my space. Uh -huh. And maybe if it's just a control track, just to jump side to side, you can put the control track down and just jump side to side or step yeah. in. And um, the modifier cat, Mm -hmm. We'll always have an option too. And that's a, I'm glad you said that because you can split the screen so you can see cat, the modifier the whole time. I um, need to know how to do that. <laughs> so do you, what's yours on? Is it a fire stick? Is it a computer? So like I, how are you doing right now? I'm using a fire stick, but for this, it's probably going to have to either be on a laptop or on my phone because it's in the hallway that is nowhere near the television. <laughs> I know a lot of people have had to move some things. Let, I will do a screen recording on my phone to show you. It's it's in the settings, like the options where you can do split screen, um, but it is there and she's on the camera the whole time. That way you always see her. Perfect, okay. Yeah, let's try it. See how you do. Like, mm -hmm. like I said, if we need to drop it and move out or you just sit deep and go shorter range of motion, totally fine. Okay. Awesome. I also want to just say real quick, thank you to whoever posted the instant pot recipe for, I think it was like hamburger helper or something because nutrition is my biggest hang up. I love, I love, love, love beach body, but nutrition just has not been a successful part for me. And I've really been dreading this coming up. And when I saw instant pot and 21 day fix, I was like, it was like the clouds parting Yay. and I, my husband was like, what are you doing? I was like, look at all these recipes. They're all over Pinterest. Everybody's been doing this. It makes it so much more um, accessible. That for me. I, so thank you to whoever posted that. That was great. I think it was Jenny and I will let her know. Um, and that's a very good point. And, and who's your coach? Um, Krista Gray. Okay, Chris. So mm -hmm. you can get with her and, and any of us. And when you're struggling to find recipes and stuff, let us know, because you're right. It is, that can seem very daunting. Right. And it's like, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to lose weight. And I just can't, I can't, I can't, we're going to, we'll slowly introduce you to those. So start with those recipes and have, enjoy them and have success with them. Um, and then we can keep fine tuning it from there. And yeah. you know what? Ultimate portion fix may not really be the one for you. And we may need to move you to two B mindset. Mm -hmm. um, where it's less structured and stress. 
Um, so let's keep an eye on that. Let's try it for this week uh, and then see. And then if we need to move you, we can move you easily and we'll explain that to you. And we, I can connect you. Katie, I'll get you. Can I'm pointing like you guys are in the same yeah. spot. <laughs> um, I know Katie, she's a coach too, would be more than happy to talk with you about what she's Perfect. Doing. Yeah, like actually while you were talking about it, like I was thinking that's exactly how I was. And like to be just made such a huge difference because it wasn't like you don't have to sit and follow recipes and yeah. plan so much. I know what I can have in my house and I can just kind of pick from a bunch of things and just throw stuff together. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Fixate, the cooking show on BOD has all the recipe, all autumn and fixed approved recipes and it shows your container counts at the bottom. Like you can watch the video, but then you can also click on it to find the PDF to save the recipe to your phone or to print it. Mm -hmm. And it has the container counts because it gets confusing when you start doing soups and chilies and all that but it tells you okay here's what it is your portion size is one small bowl or whatever and it's going to be a red a green a yellow so they're going to help you too in there and the month and to be mindset has a bunch of recipes as well uh, that are veggies first that kind of thing turkey chili is awesome it's delicious I it's like that. it's really really good and we'll be more aware to post crock pot recipes so as coaches as you find them or even you as, as you're out scouring you yeah. know Pinterest like share this be like I made this and it was amazing uh because food is hard uh and the meal plans that you'll get each week from us are just kind of a guide they're like oh here try here's some new recipes you can put in I personally eat the same foods I've always been a plain eater very regimented so I eat the same if you're just starting out and you can handle eating the same foods try it um, and see, just to get into that routine and that mindset of, okay, here's what I need to be eating. Here's how I need to eat it. Right. And forward. If you have husband and kids that don't follow your plan, cook for yourself, honey. They my husband, my husband is going to follow the plan with me. He's, yes. he is, he's really committed to his 30 day breakaway, but I told him that I really needed him to do control freak with me because I needed the support. That's awesome. But he's, he's all in on the, um, on the nutrition. So we're, we're good on that front, but that's what makes like those instant pot meals. That's what I was so excited about because I can make a meal, an actual meal and then be like, okay, and this is my portion. And this is how many containers it is. And the same thing for him. Yep. So, and being able to use it for like leftovers and everything. So yep. I'm excited about that though. Good. I'm glad to hear it. You guys can do this. You can do hard things. We've got this. Cool. Any more questions? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're so excited and you won't be able to go to bed, but go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> go to bed. And let me get, oh, before anyone hops off, let me get, I'm a boomerang kind of person on Instagram. Ugh, my hair is terrible. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> we can cut you out then i'll stay there we oh, go it on and there's sean t's dancing tim he's coming for you oh, i'm gonna it over to rob because rob's favorite program is country heat so <laughs> and i wish i was joking <laughs> oh my gosh this is gonna be uh, this inside joke, Tim got, so, well, he, um, he achieved a goal in his coaching business and he gets to be in a test group, uh, for a new program and it's uh, new, what's it called? Get, get up. Get up. Yeah. It's, it's a dance I call program. it bootylicious. It's yeah, called, I think, it. get up. It's a new dance program <laughs> and Tim and one of our other coaches, Sam is going to be in the test group. It's just funny. <laughs> Not Courtney. You never get old. More hard. Work my ass <laughs> off and I get to just dance. <laughs> I can't wait for it, personally. <laughs> All right. Everybody behind wave. the scenes videos for you guys, too. <laughs> All right. Everybody wave. Ready? One, two, three. Wave. You wave. All right. <laughs> Rob, I see you. <laughs> All right, guys. I will, I'm going to get this. I'll post this recording either late tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. So if you need to come back to it. But we can't wait to see your sweaty selfies in the morning. Doesn't matter how bad you look, just post it, right? All right, let's do it. I'm excited for day one.
Yay! Good night, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.